Well, just a little update. I've got the uh, turbine on right now. Let's see if we run through the tunnel. That's it on the end of the uh, on the end of the tower. And you can see my uh, receiver there that I'll use to pick up my signal for the uh, internet. You can see I've got the uh, mast secured and the base plate on each side of that bracket. And then there's a plate up there with the U-bolt. Another plate with the U-bolt. You may have seen this on one of my previous videos. And then coming down this way. See the uh, anemometer that we use to pick up wind speed and direction. And I've simplified my bracket up here. And we have one little uh, connector there that goes over to the pulley system. And up on top of my pole, my lift pole, I've gotten rid of that nylon rope and I have a cable now. It's secured to the other side of the house and tree. And I'll eventually put a pole up on the other side to support that. And I'll go around to the other side here and I'll stop the video for a second and I'll show you the uh, electronics. Well, let me do one other thing first. Walk around here. Um, Get over here without falling in the pool and draining the pool now. And see my wires come down. Right here it's hanging loose. And I got enough slack in it so that uh, when I raise the power up, it'll come off at the level of the uh, eave of the house. It'll be able to track over here and have a gentle loop that comes up into the bottom of my uh, on off switch. This is a cutoff switch I have over here in case some problem arose while I was on this side. I could kill the power to it if I needed to. And then you can see the cable goes right up here through that and into the attic. The uh, black cable is the Cat5 for the internet connection. And we'll go around to the carport and I'll show you the uh, other part of the system. Alright, this is in my uh, garage. There's the Sunny Boy for my solar system. The uh, wires are leading in from the attic, coming from the solar panels into the Sunny Boy, right here. And then they go out this way, out to the uh, meter. And if you'll look up here, I now have a larger conduit coming down. It's an inch and a quarter conduit that comes around this way all the way around to this disconnect on this little cabinet I set up and that disconnect will actually allow me to obviously turn off from this side of the house if something's going on this is the charge controller with the dump load built into it that came with the uh, Winmax turbine and I've just got a couple of batteries set up down here I've only got one connected right now and Look, I'll turn this on and we'll see if I can show you that this battery is not charged. It has a see 12.27 volts in it, so it's uh, not fully charged. And once I put the windmill up, we'll monitor it. I'm going to put some put some uh, meters up on this a little bit later, but I'm just trying to get everything set up. Let me show you inside of the cabinet. Right here I've got a couple of fuses on each leg of the uh, AC current coming in from the windmill and I've got it coming through the door and in the charge controller and up under there and then coming out of the charge controller there are two wires that are the DC and on this side of the cabinet I have a positive and a negative terminal 
and coming off of those we'll be able to connect batteries and this is how I'm going to charge the batteries eventually I'll have a series of um, inverters that will step the uh, 12 volts that I have here in each of these batteries up to a total of 360 volts DC which my Sunny Boy can uh, then take and convert into uh, AC current and feed into the grid and that's my game plan for this and I will uh, update you as things go along I'm going to try to do a lift here in a minute and uh, get the wind turbine up for the first time and let it start charging this battery I'll uh, see you in a little while